Hello, this is Blair Kibblewhite from Cut and Freeze Dry. I was asked the other day what is the cost of sublimation for a commercial freeze dryer. This got me thinking as we need to define what is meant by the cost of sublimation. Is it the cost of energy or the cost of the equipment or both? Let me show you on a spreadsheet to help answer this question. For these examples we'll use some fixed variables. The freeze dryer's capacity would be a thousand kilograms. The maximum batch runs per year is 300 and a drying cycle is based on 24 hours. If we take the first statement, the cost of energy, it could look something like this. Let's base the average power usage at 2 kilowatt hours per kg over 24 hours. This is the amount of power consumed by the freeze dryer in a 24 hour cycle. We have set the dryer's capacity as 1000 kilograms, so let's multiply that by 2 kilowatt hours which gives us 2,000 kilowatt hours used every 24 hours. If the kilowatt hour unit price is 20 cents, then we would multiply this by the 2,000 kilowatt hours, which tells us we would use $400 of power every 24 hours. This is only really part of the total cost, as there is a capital cost to be considered. So, the next statement, the cost of equipment, could look like this. If we say that the cost of the equipment has a value of $1.7 million and we depreciate it over 10 years, then we have an annual running cost of $170,000 per year. We said that, that we would run 300 batches per year, making our running cost just over $566 per batch. And because our batch weight is 1,000 kilograms, our cost of equipment will be 56 cents per kilogram. Both of these answers are correct, but we really need to combine them to get the true cost. Let's see what that would look like. So here we have our spreadsheet. We're going to do a thousand kilograms of wet weight and here we're going to put in our budgeted 1.7 million dollars. Next we've allowed for 10% interest on the investment and shown depreciation over 10 years. We've also allowed for 3% maintenance cost as well. We set our power requirement as 2 kilowatt hours per kilogram going to do 300 batches per year and let's make the power unit cost 20 cents per kilowatt hour. We have an area here for other overheads but let's keep it simple and just work with the actual drying costs. The total annual cost is just over $500,000. Our throughput shows that we're going to put through 300,000 kilograms of wet product per year and with a solids level of 15% going to get 45,000 kilograms of dry product in return. So that gives us a dry weight cost of $11.36 per kilogram, or just under $25 per pound. This is only a guide to the drying cost, or the cost of sublimation, as there may be some variables not accounted for in this example. Moisture levels in products, cost of the power, and the number of loads per year will change the dry weight cost. To make this more defined, you will need to add the raw material price and any other overheads you see. If you have any questions about this video or would like to know more about cut and freeze drives, then please visit our website, cutandfreezedry.com.